Hey guys, I gotta tell you this story of what just happened here um, at the gun store earlier today. I was helping a friend of mine, okay? He is a former Army Reserve. He is familiar with rifles and things, but he really has no experience with handguns. And it's been a long time ago, and he doesn't own handguns, and he wanted to get a Glock 19. I helped him out the whole way. His holster, um, he's gonna get night sights for it. Um, the ammo, everything you can think of, I've been trying to help the guy out with. So we go to the gun store, he's gonna pick up his gun, you know, he's all happy and everything, and uh, which I don't blame him, I would be too. So I was there with him, and the guy showing him the gun, I don't know, he's like maybe 22, 23, we'll say 22 to 25 years old. And you know, he's talking about the Glock to him, and, and, uh, and, and my friend, looks at him and says, well, you know, if I need to know anything about Glocks, this is the guy I'm going to. And he points to me and the kid just goes, he just kind of looks down and goes, huh, or something like that. So I immediately say, yeah, I said, well, they don't think so. I said, but, but they don't know. I said, it's okay to, to, to my friend. And, uh, you know, and he just, he just looks like, you know, like he didn't even hear me. He just acts like he didn't even hear me. And here's the thing, guys, I'm not bragging about anything. And, uh, I know some gun guys, or I know some gun store guys that, that know their stuff, man, big time that, that know their stuff. Um, you know, there's, there's a couple of guys that I know that work at a gun store that I have work on some things if I ever need work. But when, when you get these kind of guys that are real young, now you can know a lot when you're young, but when they're real young and they already think they know it all, um, that's, that's not the way to be. And I have a hard time dealing with somebody that's like that. So, uh, yeah. So I just basically said, you know, he said, I'll get with him, you know, if I have any questions about the Glock and he, you know, and then my friend laughed about it, you know, cause he knows that's, that's what I do here. You know, that's what I'm into is the Glock stuff. And the, in that, and that kid behind the counter <laughs> and looks down or something, you know, looks down like this. And I'm like, you know what? I'm like, whatever, man. I'm like, it's just, it was kind of funny to me. But like I said, guys, I'm not bragging about anything. It is what it is. But the thing is, though, is when you spend, when you spend so many years, and, and I guess the thing of it, too, is me doing the videos, so many hours editing, explaining, doing things, showing people, making videos from questions. You go through my channel. I got over a thousand videos. I've been doing it for a decade. And you go through my channel and you see all the things I've done to try to help people. And then you have somebody just kind of act like that. It just, you know, it kind of, it just kind of, um, it, you know, it is going to kind of make you, yeah, I had to laugh it off, of course, but it is going to kind of make you a little upset. But all right, guys, I just want to tell you that story. Um, I thought you'd find it interesting. And if you're a younger guy, I know some of you guys that watch my channel. I, I, I know some of these younger guys know their stuff inside and out, and I'm proud of you. Uh, but, but the thing is, though, is never go into a situation with a chip on your shoulder. Um, even if you do know more than the other person, just, you know, kind of come at them like, well, maybe, maybe if you did it this way, or, well, let me show you why, you know, um, I was, you know, explaining to my friend and I might do a video about this, even little things like as, um, as little as, um, the magazine locking back, what or the slide locking back? What makes the slide lock back when the gun's empty? What makes the slide drop forward? He didn't know these things. I'm explaining it to him. Um, you know, and this is in the parking lot in the trunk. I'm using the gun. I'm showing him why the slide locks back. A lot of guys don't even pay attention, don't even really realize what, what does that. So I might make a video about that if there's any interest in it. Um, you know, just the mechanics of the gun. You know, if the slide gets locked back, what caused it to lock back? What causes it to stay there, to stay in the locked back position? What, you know, what happened? What releases it? Are there, and there's different ways to release a slide that's locked back. So we're starting low um, and, and easy and, you know, and I'm, and I'm going to be at the range with them and I'm helping them out all through the way. And uh, yeah, guys, just want to tell you about that little story I thought you might find interesting. All right, guys, until next time, this is Defender of Freedoms and I am out.